Hello, welcome back to my Catan Compatible Stuff videos. I'm showing you a couple little random things from my collection here of homemades. I've got a whole bunch of homemade tiles that I'll be showing you as I go, and eventually I'll be showing you full sets. I have all sorts of size little velvety bags, like this dice bag. Um, many of them I repurpose if they came from buying other products or whatever. You know, I choose a color that makes sense, like green for zombies, you know, at sustainable agriculture, amethyst caverns, you know, all sorts of things. But I put everything together in one of those. If you get a big kit and many items and you want like a proper game box, they even have these super amazing thick but clear organizer boxes with latches. Um, or I can go with something smaller. Some things even fit into stuff like that. All right, I'm just gonna show you a quick preview of a couple. Let's see. Um, in the game portal, you have a companion cube and a bunch of art, especially if the companion cube is done in this kind of scrawly way. And you've got your portals, of course, so my die and everything else kind of has a similar feel in the art to the, they call it the Ratman um, Chronicles, the Ratman drawings. Um, working on those. Let's see. This is an old Amethyst Cavern chunk modeled after, um, inspired by the Minecraft Amethyst Cavern. Um, so here's a tin that a lot of your game pieces can come in. And if you go with velvet bags, these are little tags that can go in the velvet bags. And the cool thing about that is, since the tags are easy to take on and off the drawstrings, like you just slide them on and off. If you reorganize any of your stuff from my homemade items, you just move the tags around, no big deal. And you'll instantly know what all your stuff is, what's in each bag, it's great. These are little dragon eggs. They're for a game called Worm something. Worms, worm span, like wingspan, um, but they're just pretty dragon egg looking things, looking like maybe an amethyst dragon egg that I'm incorporating into my dragon scenarios there. So stay tuned for that. Here's a little tag for the portal game out on. Amethyst cavern custom die in progress. I think, yeah, I have to clean up a couple little stray marks there. Every now and then if something's drying and the wind blows really fiercely, stuff will touch other stuff. It's a mess. Here's one of my sustainable agriculture items. This is where you terrace a hill. And this is an actual technique people use all over the world. It's one I learned and got to help teach at one point. You take three sticks, a stone, and some string. You know, it could be wool. And you make an A-frame level. You tie it up like this. And on level ground you mark what the centerpiece is. And you use it kind of like a compass and a plumb line. Using that alone and maybe some sticks, you can trace out contour lines that are exactly level in terms of gravity. So you can terrace a hill perfectly, because if you terrace it and it's slightly off kilter, it's slanty one way or the other, your water still rushes down and causes erosion and doesn't have as long to seep into the soil. But if you use your A-frame level or something else like it, you're golden. So I'm actually teaching proper sustainable technology, sustainable at Game Talk, sustainable agriculture techniques, and doing so with my little tiny add-ons and mods for Catan-like games. I keep saying like for Catan, but it's for any game that's like Catan or hex-based, you know, it's no big deal. Um, this is part of the Cherry Blossom add-on, da-da-da, very cool. Learn about a little bit about art and present reality with Cherry Blossom, viewing and forest bathing and stuff like that. These are for some of my Pride-related add-ons, sort of like a Pride Metropolis-ish. Um, this is very cool. It's you sort of, for Pride Fest packs anyway, you chip in to have a great Pride celebration. This is in progress. One of the negative things is you partied too hard or you forgot your water and sunscreen, but a good one, uh, one of the positives where you get a healing point and a dev card is you actually like get on your phone or talk to people and learn something new, a new Pride flag, a pronoun that's new to you, and you teach everybody else who's playing the game. So you actually are learning things and making the world slightly better while you play, which is kind of cool. This one's in progress. Let's see. Yeah, and this would be the little tag that goes in the velvet bag for the Pride Fest one. I made it glittery too, because I like glitter. Another sustainable agriculture one. I've got rain barrels, a little bit like the oil barrels, but proper like this. 
and on one side you can see the red X, the other side you can see water, and you flip it back and forth. And I'm going to draw the way to do it. So basically once per round, like from one of your turns to the next one of yours, you can use the collected rainwater, kind of imagine pouring it into your field and harvest double, you know, increase your production, or actually increase plus one um, from one settled area on one hex and then you flip it back over to refill. It's very cool. This is from the COVID We Stay Home official Catan kit, but I am modifying this a little bit. This is the Last Airbender, Avatar the Last Airbender, Wan Shi Tong's library. I love how I drew this one. Even just the little tiny dots for shadow and the desert came out well. Knowledge Seeker Fox. We saw the books in another video. This is the fox. He's so cute. And, you know, nine-tailed foxes and three-tailed foxes exist in the folklore, but it's not my story to tell, so I'll leave that there for now and educate in another way later. Oil Springs! Got a little tag for the drawstring guy for that one. Terracing and composting. It's more sustainable agriculture techniques. Global warming kit. This is for the Doctor Who add-on. We have a Cyberman attack. You can move the TARDIS one time. Or you can take an extended stay in the Pandorica and you end up <laughs> gaining some dev cards. There's a little cheat sheet tile that explains how the Pandorica works somewhere in here. Somewhere. I'm going to figure that out later. Oh yeah, here it is. Yep, so there's the Pandorica. Gorgeous. Rory protects it. You take a dev card. You do all your production and just throw it in a pile. 